What is up, demigods, monsters, and gods alike? Welcome back to the Olympus Report. With Percy Jackson just around the corner, the creators have shared some new information with us about the cast and show in general. Something I always wish the books delved a little deeper into was certain characters' backstories, especially those of Annabeth, Luke, and Thalia, and it seems we'll be getting just that. You get a deeper understanding of the characters, I think, by looking into their backstories. This quote is in reference to Luke, Thalia, and Annabeth, and I really love how they're adding these new scenes to the show to enhance on the story of the book and give certain characters more screen time, as Luke really didn't have a huge role in The Lightning Thief, so I'm really excited to see Charlie on screen more than Luke was in the book. I think this is really going to make him more of a sympathetic character and help us understand him a little bit better earlier on in the story. Two more characters we'll be delving a little bit deeper into is Poseidon and Sally, specifically how they met. What was that like? And you get a glimpse of that in the series. I've always found this interesting and I cannot wait to see it played out on screen. Like I said before, I really love how they're giving bigger parts to beloved side characters. The production design team also talked about their interpretation of the underworld. And it's a very interesting, different take. We decided to go with a very monotone, very white, on gray, on gray, on black, on white world. And also his world is upside down. His palace is his form of Mount Olympus, upside down. Also just the concept of it being the underworld, so what's above? It's not the sky up above, that's actually mountains and all that business is up there. And his world is down here. Then we have a layer people walk on. So gravity is being defied. So lots of opportunities to do some really surreal stuff. In fact, this picture and this clip here that I wasn't sure exactly where took place takes place in the underworld, in fact. And it is so creepy. I love how different it is than the usual interpretation of fire and lava. Decisions like this, I feel, is really gonna make the series stand out and differentiate between other shows. But we still have more news to talk about Half-Bloods. We also got a snippet of the show being scored, and it sounds so good. The music is also definitely standing out for me. The one and only Rick Riordan also shared what he's excited about about the series. The acting, obviously, but I think there's a couple of things. There are some scenes in The Lightning Thief that were never in the movie adaptations, and you're going to get to see them now, finally adapted. Just from the content level, I think that is pretty exciting. And there's so much on that list. The Tunnel of Love ride, Krusty's waterbed shop, Percy making the toilets explode and drowning Clarice, the claiming so much and because of this and the new scenes that they're adding to the show even though we know the book so well this show feels like something completely new and i feel like that's why we're all so excited because we're gonna see something we've never seen before and finally rick once again sang his praises for our three young actors walker arian and leah are so great Going back into my teaching perspective, they're the kind of kids that just make the whole year. They're so bright and dedicated and funny and just really nice people. I can only imagine how much pressure came with taking on these roles. So I can only say thank you to Walker, Leah, and Arian for giving us something truly special. And thank you for pouring your heart and dedication into this show. We as the fans really appreciate it. And I know this show is going to be amazing. So with that being said, we're one day closer, Half-Bloods. But for right now, that's all the news I have for you. So thank you for watching. But until next time, I'll be signing out. And please, always remember to stay safe.